<laughs> well, anyway, look, in the, in the, mean, in the meantime, um, I did explain this last week. I've been, I've been away to the Tech Exeter breakfast, which was very good. I've had a very nice chocolate croissant. Yeah, they so didn't do bacon, bacon sandwiches. No, there was no bacon sandwiches. No, nothing like that. I'm sorry to say. So that explains why you've got your name written on your T-shirt. Oh yes, yes, I've got my name <laughs> written on my T-shirt. I was that wondering whether you were yeah, forget no, what your name is. I'll take, I'll take that off again now. <laughs> um, so uh, I've now worked it out. You see, I forgot all about this thing because I'm, you know, my life's a pretty busy, you know, young boy. I am. Well, you've got to keep up with everything, haven't you? And yeah, I've got a lot, things, lot of things, things going trying to on. sort people's problems out. And Chris takes me a long time oh, yes. to sort his problems out. God, yes. dear. Yeah, especially when he keeps sacking me. <laughs> sacking me. It's I not have easy to... to help him, is it? Uh, no, it doesn't. No, I now have to apply to go get my money from somewhere else. Oh, J.D., my coffee. you're sacked. <laughs> well, anyway, look, can I, if I don't explain myself, I shall run out of time. Good, you better. Right, right so I shall, carry, I shall carry on with this. Go on. So Go on. We, we, it, we're still trying to, to work out where the steam village is. St uh, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. I thought we, it was in London. Well, it was in London, Chris, yes. It was part of BET, wasn't it? Yeah. The steam village. Yeah. Steam village. So, I yeah. saw the I thought that would be where the steam railway, railway was. Or the steam radio. <laughs> yes, steam radio. <laughs> steam the, radio. On the back of the track. That's what I, I think that would be quite clever. <laughs> um, no, Chris is quite right. He, did, he, he's, he met the Dalek. The, the BBC was very keen on the I steam village. I thought he was the Dalek. No, no. He, he, he's not, he wasn't inside the Dalek. The oh, Dalek, right. Yeah. The Dalek was there to show support. Right. It was a very friendly, constructive sort of a Dalek. Yeah. Uh, it was there on a meet and greet trip to persuade us all that arts could fit in there somewhere. And um, so I thought, well, there's, there's Tech Exeter over in the Innovation Hub and there's us in the Arts Centre. We're a bit techy, aren't we, here on the radio? Tech, but, right. Do, but, you have to define what techy is. Well, well people wouldn't JD, know. we've got we've got buttons and faders and lights go on and off, yeah. and there's bits of cable we have to plug in now here right. and there, and um, you're both staring at your phones. Um, Chris's phone, through the magic of Bluetooth, will be connected to one of these faders or buttons. Yeah. If the lights on or off, it will be fine. Yeah, mine's mine's con connected to the world. That's not the point, JT. We <laughs> That's know that. Why, so, uh, is it know, connected to this desk? Uh, can yeah, I, can I, if I move these faders up and down, will your sound? Yes, I, I can appear? turn Chris off from speaking you could, oh yes well that's very <laughs> that's very useful <laughs> that's a useful one to know yes he anyway. doesn't want to be sat <laughs> no well he's he's on prob let's say he's on probation no like, he's no, sat he's, no, he's sat all right okay well anyway look in the in the meantime i think eventually um well perhaps when the weather's a bit better uh, there's a bit more sunshine we well. can use Come to come to where I live. It's sunshine all every day. Oh, all right. We'll 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 set it up. All we need for this play to work, my own play, we need one space which we say that's a techie space, and right. we need another space that we say that's an art space, and then we have people moving between the two spaces, having conversations. So, what's the outcome of them? Well, the outcome will be that uh, the steam village becomes a reality. So the arts exists in the context of the science, the technology, the engineering, right. and the mathematics. Right. So the that's mathematics all, that's, actually that's might be enough. Everything with steam. S that's everything with steam. Yes. <laughs> there you go. So we could do it in Exmouth. Right. It, it just needs to. But you see, like on a thir it turns out on a Thursday morning, um, between eight o'clock and ten o'clock, I'm doing the drama show, which today I pre-recorded. So I could go to... I wouldn't the, let people know about that. What? pre -recorded. Oh, I think they realise. don't pre-record things. Well, I know you're, you're here in person. Oh, yeah. well, now we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we could we could play this again sometime, possibly. Yes. Yes, we could do. As long as it hasn't got any dates on it and that sort of thing. Well, it's the first Thursday of the month. 
<laughs> and that's that'll be the same time as the tech exit right. okay so breakfast uh, meeting right so that, that's quite easy to remember no you can remember that it's the first thursday that's in great britain uh well yeah the the, the mm, i think all that all that happens in other parts of the world the, <laughs> the day of everybody has a month right and the, there is a first a first the one I can't say first. First Thursday is quite a hard thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> yes, we could, we could, our first Thursday could be somebody's first Friday. Oh, well, I suppose that's true. <laughs> so you've got to look at that. So you've yes. got to, you've got to have oh, a special Thursday. Yes, Thursday. yes, but it's it's only... Uh, although I'm going to try, <laughs> um, theoretically, their breakfast is from 8.30 till when you've got to be somewhere else. So in in principle, I could be in the studio in the first... 20 minutes of the show. I reckon it takes about 10 minutes to get from here to the Innovation Hub. Right. And so today I was still nattering. Chris, what time? I'm, I met you on the way here. That slowed me down as well. But we actually got into the studio about 5 2, didn't we? Mm. About 5 to 10. Mm. But in theory, I could get here a bit earlier. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, let's say we pre record some stuff. We record some stuff at the Innovation Hub or a park mm. bench somewhere between here and there mm -hmm. or people send us stuff and it's about the Steam Village uh, which exists somewhere in the middle of Exeter or Exmouth or anywhere really on a Creative Commons basis we can nick audio from all kinds of sources but um, what this all means is that I didn't um, broadcast anything that has turned up during this week mm -hmm. and amazingly something did which is only six minutes long so although this is not the drama show no. I'm going to play it anyway yeah, go on. and um, it's from the Exeter Drama Company other than that it, it ex explains itself as it goes along but this isn't uh, Creative Commons in other words this isn't a sample of something else mm -hmm. we haven't remixed anything it's content marketing. So what I'm asking the audience to believe is that since this six minutes of radio is okay as six minutes of radio, probably the Exeter Drama Company will be able to do a version of Edward II by Marlowe in a church in Alphington over however long it takes uh, on the... 15th, 16th and 17th of May mm. ok but keep that thought will, will, will the audience be convinced? probably not you don't think they are no. going to be convinced? no they're, they're, they've got to buy a ticket you, that's another problem it's not just listening to the radio right but anyway that may happen go for it, Go for it. right so I'm going to fade this out